Welcome back to our fourth installment of our marketing lessons from a data scientist series. And today we are talking about who is exactly in this machine learning driver seat. So here's a cartoon uh, with some autonomous vehicles. There is a police officer who pulled over a driver and he asks the driver after he pulled them over, does your car have any idea why my car pulled it over? Now, the irony of this is that there are drivers in both driver seats, but the driver doesn't really know what's going on. Right, that the autonomous vehicle is doing all of the work. And so we'll use this example to illustrate what that machine uh, human interaction model uh, looks like uh, in autonomous vehicles, but also in uh, marketing. So in today's autonomous vehicles, we're not talking about uh, full autonomy. Um, you can't get in and get to your destination with, with zero um, interactions or zero overrides. What the, the interaction model looks like is that you, as a human, provide the destination. And that machine then accepts the destination, right? If you can't select the destination, it's not your vehicle. Um, then you, uh, after the machine uh, plans out that, that route, that itinerary for that destination, it'll automate the turning. You can override any of that. You remember on your way home from work that you need to pick something up at the, the grocery store. Uh, you can do that. You can override that system at any time. Uh, you also have adaptive acceleration, right? Uh, maintaining a healthy distance between you and cars in front of you, uh, maybe even on the freeway, uh, but you can always override that cruise control. So you, you get to control what that looks like. And then also from that intelligent um, route mapping and planning, you can, uh, that machine will reroute potentially uh, your trip based off of accidents that you may not be aware of, uh, traffic patterns that you can't see, and then you, get to accept or reject that recommendation. So you are still very much in control and you are in that driver's seat. So let's now switch to marketing mechanics as opposed to some of these driving mechanics where this machine now is, uh, is helping guide what that your user's experience looks like, um, where you are still providing what that outcome is, what that goal is, what you want the users to do, and it accepts that goal or that outcome essentially as a, as a destination or uh, something to guide users towards, right? So just in the, in the same way that if it's not your, if you can't select the destination, it's not your vehicle. If you can't select what you're trying to maximize, what outcomes you're trying to drive, it's really not your machine for machine learning. So that, that's a must in these machines we're talking about. Um, then uh, when we're talking about automation, um, along what a journey might look like, uh, a machine can potentially automate that content selection. You put the guardrails on what that content selection looks like. You provide those potential uh, experiences for that user uh, to see. Uh, it potentially uh, selects what a good messaging interval is for a customer, right? Kind of historically in the past as marketers, we've had drip campaigns where we kind of automate what that uh, drip looks like and what that progression uh, is. Uh, a machine can do that more uh, adaptively and tailored to individual needs, but we still get to kind of control what those constraints look like um, as marketers. And then just like how we had some uh, traffic based rerouting, we might have information in the system available about conversion bottlenecks and where customers are converting and where they're not and be able to use that information and that the machine might suggest some optimizations that we can make that we can then accept or reject and adapt our marketing plans for that. So in the end though, the marketer must be the driver. What does the machine need from you? Uh, the machine needs the objectives. Uh, it can't decide where to go. Uh, it needs your input. Uh, it needs to know your business. And that's the input that you provide. So that machine then is taking that objective and saying, how do we maximize that? Um, how do we uh, make sure that leading customers towards that objective? Inputs, things like data sourcing, new data sources, although that doesn't help as often as updating messaging candidates, uh, providing constraints on content recommendations. Um, you also help provide a lot of the exploration, right? And having new, putting new messaging candidates into the mix, being able to do some experimentation uh, and find better ways to construct these journeys for, um, uh, for your users and your customers. Um, and you also provide the guardrails, right? So the machine might say, it found that everybody loves free shipping and we should give free shipping to everybody. Well, that happens 
could run you into the ground, right? Depending on what kind of constraints uh, you put around that. So you'll need to put in things uh, like budget constraints. You might want to have promote particular things for seasonality that you can foresee that the machine can't yet, right? So all of these uh, inputs are required from you to help make sure that the machine is taking uh, your customers where they want to go. So data science and machine learning can't uh, pick your objectives for you. It can just help you uh, in your route to get there and optimize that route, just like those autonomous vehicles. So thanks for listening this time. Uh, tomorrow, or whenever you listen to this, we're going to be talking about what, uh, what sitting in the driver's seat looks like.